Another problem of Stanford Math Tournament 2018 discrete board from Combinatorics topic. This video has has three parts: part one, two, three, factorial and combination, hockey stick identity, and part three, solve the problem. So I split up the answer into three parts. If you know, for example, part one and two, you can go straight forward to part three. You can use time codes in my description to see which part you need. So this video will be useful from basic level student up to professional level math solver because if you know part one and two, you go straight forward three. If you don't know factorial is what, combination is what, I see in part one and two the things we need for solving this problem. So let's jump into the problem. Problem number seven, let S be the set of all 1000 elements, subsets of the set 1 to 2018, what is the expected value? Expected value means mean of the minimum element of a set chosen uniformly at random from S. So at first, let me explain the problem is what I want to explain this problem, for example, for small numbers to understand problem a little better. Suppose instead of 1 to 2018, we have 1 to 4, 1 to 3, 4, and instead of 1000 elements, a set of all two elements. And so let's solve this one. For each of them, we want to consider the minimum element of that set and <clears throat> find the mean of them or expected value, we say. So if I want to explain this, if I, if I consider all subsets with two elements, they will be 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 2, 3, 2, 4, and 3, 4. So for 1, 2, the minimum element is 1. Here, minimum element 1, 1. Minimum is 2, minimum is 2, minimum is 3. So if we add all these things, you say 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3. So how many subsets do we have with two elements over six? So it will be what? One, 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 three. And two plus two, four. Four plus three, seven. Seven plus three, ten. It will be ten over six or five over three. So I wanted to just explain the problem is what? <clears throat> you have main set here, for example, one to twenty eighteen here, one to four. We want to consider the set of all 1000 element subsets. Here, I consider it's 1002 elements. So you consider all subsets with two elements of 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 2, 3, 2, 4, all subsets with two elements. And then it says what's the expected value. I said you can consider expected value here mean of the minimum element of a set chosen uniformly at random from S. So this means. For each subset, consider minimum element and find the mean of this minimum. So 1, 1, 1, 3, 1s, 2, 2s, 1, 3. So 3, 1s plus 2, 2s plus 3 over 6. It will be 10 over 6, which equal to 5 over 3. So let's solve, let's explain, let's focus on these three parts. And now let's jump into the part 1. Okay, factorial. Factorial and combination is what? Factorial, the, the symbol, I, let me explain. For example, 3 factorial, this sign, you say 3 times 2 times 1. It, it will be what? 6. If you consider 2 factorial, it will be 2 times 1, 2. If they say 1 factorial, it will be 1. And 0 factorial, they define it is 1. So can you tell me 4 factorial is what? Yes. 4, 3, 2, 1. It will be 2, 3, 6 times 4, 24. So in general, n factorial is n times n minus 1, 2, 2 times 1. This is the definition of n factorial. I want to only tell you the formula and definition to use in the problem. For any proofs, if you have any question, comment below. If you don't know anything and if you have any recommendation. So it is factorial now. Let's work on combination. Suppose, for example, our set is 1, 2, 3. Okay, if I write that, 1, 2, 3, 4. Suppose, for example, we want to find the number of subsets with two elements. So, and then we generalize for any subset, for example, 1 to 10, and number of subsets with 10 elements. So, if I want to calculate 
the sign is what like factorial the sign is four choose two <clears throat> and they say what four choose two it means you have four elements you want to select two of them so if we before choose two and the formula is what let me explain for you at first let's write all the subsets with two elements one two like previous parts one three one four two three two four and three four so one two three four five six so it will be six but it has a formula the formula is what you say four factorial this one factorial 2 factorial, the bottom 1 factorial, and 4 minus 2 factorial. It will be what? It will be 4 factorial, 2 factorial, here 2 factorial. And it should be 6 because we've counted. 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 times 2 times 1. We cancel these 2, 4, 2 times 3, 6. And here we had exactly 6. So... Let me tell you, I, I only want to tell you the formula is what, as I said, the proof, if you had any question, you can also send message to my WhatsApp number. So here, for example, if you have five, choose two, it will be what? Five factorial, the formula, two factorial, five minus two factorial, it will be what? Five factorial, two factorial over three factorial here. And it will be five times four times three times two times one, all over 2 times 1 times 3 factorial, 3 times 2 times 1. And if we simplify, it will be this, 2, 4, 2, 5 times 2, 10. You can use it for any things. N choose K. If I want to write the formula for N choose K, it will be N factorial, bottom 1 factorial, N minus 1. The difference factorial. This is the formula for n choose k if you have n elements one to n and you want to count the number of subsets with k elements okay it was the formula now we are ready to jump into the part two in part two i want to define hockey identity or chushichi identity or someone says chushichi identity but the name famous name is hockey identity it is what I want to define it for solving the problem we need that. They say R choose R, and then I will tell you some example to understand it's better. To this plus, if we use it in, a, in, an, uh, in an exam, you don't need to prove because it has name. Maybe especially in that exam, they say you should prove all things, but in Olympiad, you don't need. It has name, it's famous, and it is this. So let me explain for you. For example, suppose what someone says, okay, 1 choose 1 plus 2 choose 1 plus 3 choose 1 equal to what? R here is what can you tell me in this case? So look, R, 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 1, 1, 1, 1. N is what we select from R, R plus 1 to N. N is 3. So from this identity, we should say N plus 1, R plus 1, 3 plus 1, 1 plus 1. It is what? 4 choose two and by part one if you calculate it will be four factorial over two factorial two factorial if we simplify four three two one in previous part we calculated that it will be this over two times one two times one and if we cancel it will be six now if we cancel if we calculate one choose one one you have so your, your set is one the number of subsets with on one element the subset, the main set is 2, 1, 2. You want to select one element, 2, 3, choose 1. Also, if you use the formula, n choose 1 always is n. For example, 3 choose 1, you say 3 factorial, bottom 1 factorial, 3 minus 1, 2 factorial. If you divide, it will be 3, 2, 2, 1, 2 times 1. The answer, it will be 3. Also, similarly, this one. 2 choose 1, 2. So 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 3, 6. So, <clears throat> Chushiji identity is so much useful. Let me tell you another application. We want to prove, we want to say some famous identity. You see that identity, you saw that before, but it is a special case of hockey identity. How? 
you say 1 choose 1 plus 2 choose 1 plus 2 and choose 1. By Chushichi identity or Hakistic identity, it will be n plus 2 choose 2. And now, if I want to write it in the form that you remember it was what? 1 plus 2 plus 2 n equal to what? If you simplify this by factorial, it will be what? n plus 2 factorial. 2 factorial n factorial. If you write n factorial is 1 to n. If I want to write and it is n plus 2 times the numerator n plus 1 times n times n and you can say n factorial 2 factorial is 2 times n factorial you can cancel and it will be what n plus 2 times n plus 1 let me write it again oh sorry 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 here instead of n plus 2 by the formula it is n plus 1 so let me correct it will be n plus 1 choose 2 will be n plus 1 times if you simplify times n <laughs> n plus 1 factorial n plus 1 n times n minus 1 and to 1 if you write and here it will be 2 factorial times n minus 1 factorial you can divide these two things and it is equal to what this one equal to n times n plus 1 n here n plus 1 over 2 it is a famous formula 1 to n is n times n plus 1 over 2 and it's special case of Hakistic identity. Now let's jump into the part 3 that we want to solve the problem. Okay, in problem number 7 it says what? We have 1 to 2018 and for all 1000 subset we want to consider the minimum element and mean of that. So here for example let me at first tell you my, my idea for 1, 2, 3, 4 and for example, you want to select two elements. So as we've considered that one, two, one, three, each of them. So I want to consider the case that one is minimum. You want to select two elements. So because one is minimum, it is one and something else. So here it can be two, three, or four. You say two, three, four. You say three, choose one. So we have three, choose one subsets that their minimum is two. If 2 is minimum, so here it was what? 1, 2, 3, 4. If minimum is 2, so this one can be 3 and 4. So you should say 2 choose 1. And if 3 is minimum, so you say our subset is 3 and something, it, it should be 4 only. 1 choose 1. Now, if you want to find the mean, you say 3 choose 1. We have 1. All of them are 1 plus mean of them you have two subsets that the minimum is two so two choose one subset each of them have two create two and plus one choose one times three all over what how many numbers do we write how many subsets with two elements do we have four choose two and then i want to calculate this okay so if i want to write for the problem one two let me write with why? If I consider our subset is what? 1, 2, 3, 2, 2018. And I want to consider the cases. I consider 1000 elements each time I select a subset with 1000 elements. So I want to calculate the case that 1 is minimum. So if 1 is minimum, your subset will be 1 and how many other elements? Yes, exactly. 999. You should select them from 2 to 2018. So it will be what? 2017. Because 2 to 2018 is 2017. You should select how many elements? 999. In previous part, I explained combination. Now, let's consider 2. If 2 is minimal. So you have 2 is minimal. And you should select again. 999 but here because 2 is minimum you can select 1 because if 1 exists here so 2 is not minimum 1 will be minimum so you should select from this part and it will be what like here for example look 3 choose 1 then 2 choose 1 1 choose 1 here also 2017 choose 999 next one 2016 because from 3 to 2018 
it will be 26 inches 999 and if we continue if 3 is minimum similarly we can say 2015 choose 999 okay and because we have you write this number of ones you should multiply by one we want to add the numbers and then at the end sub uh, divide it by the number of subsets we write to find the mean or expected value multiplied by two you multiply it by three and the last one you want to calculate will be 999 999 choose that you should see you multiply by what what is minimum here let me tell you a trick here it is one two three they will increase by one each step 2017 2016 2015 they will decrease by one in each step so decrease by one increase by one so some of them is constant 2017 plus 1 2018 2016 plus 2 2018 2015 plus 3 2018 so 999 plus what is 2018 plus 1019 okay now we have these numbers they are numerator if we add all these numbers one times 2017 999 choose 999 plus two times 2016 choose 999 plus three times 2015 choose 999 plus 1019 times 999 choose 999 all over what all over the number of subsets with 1000 elements from 21 to 2018 it will be 2018 choose 1000 so numerator we can calculate it easily by first part i've explained we should focus on denominator for finding denominator we should use again another trick or idea that is useful in many problems you should say okay we have one two three one thousand nineteen if we, we didn't have these coefficients we could use hockey stick identity from part two so i consider for example suppose numerator i consider numerator by n so i want to write n. i say write all of them without their coefficients only for each of them one 2016 choose 999 plus 2015 choose 999 to the last one 999999 choose there are some ideas like this if you have any question about these ideas feel free to send message to my whatsapp number in the description so this finished one but here we have another terms because we've written only one of them so against the next part start from here 2016 choose 999 plus 2015 choose 999 and on to up to 999 choose 999 so here finish this part one from here left so the next part you select from here 2015 choose 999 up to 999 choose 999 you write like this and the last term will be what 999 choose 999 now i want to apply hockey stick identity the first one is what this one it is exactly hockey stick identity you should say this plus one choose this plus one 2018 choose 1000 this one again you write until here the last one this plus one 2017 choose this plus one 1000 the next one this plus one 2016 this plus one choose 1000 and the last one also because we want to have same pattern this plus one this plus one 1000 choose 1000 is one 999 choose 999 is also one now we want to calculate numerator it will be what 2018 choose 1000 plus this one 2017 choose 1000 plus this one 2016 choose 1000 up to last one 1000 choose 1000 again it's what it is similar to what can you tell me exactly hockey stick identity it will be what choose what 
Yes, this plus one, 2019, choose this plus one, 1001. So our answer is what numerator is 2019. Choose 1001. And if you want to find denominator, we said here all subsets with 1000 element. 2018, choose 1000. 2018, choose 1000. Now, if I want to calculate, it will be what the numerator 2019 factorial over 1001 factorial from part one i explained in the video this minus this is what 1018 factorial all over this one factorial 2018 factorial this factorial 1000 factorial this minus this 1000 Sorry, here, let me correct it. It's 10,018. It should be 1,018. Okay, 18 factorial here, also 1,018. You can cancel. Let me cancel with red. Okay, here we cancel this term. This term. Here you have 1,001. Okay, so if I want to write... Here you can say it is 1,000 is left. Here 2, 2019 is left. But let me explain a little more. It will be 2019 factorial times 1000 factorial all over. I want to explain a little more for students that are not good at factorial. So if I want to write it, if I want to simplify, it's 2018 factorial. So I write this one is what? 2019 times 2018 times 2, 1. This one is what? 1000 to 999. 2, 1, and the denominator is what, if we write, it will be 1,001 times 1,000 times 999 times 2, 1 times 2018 factorial. It will be 2018 times 2017 times 2, 1. We can cancel this part. Let me cancel with blue. Okay, you can cancel this part and this part. 1000 this part with this part so it will be what it will be 2019 over 1001 okay so the answer of this problem equal to 2019 over 1001 i release many other videos you can see uh, in my playlist howard sanford mit math tournament also for olympias you can see the videos to improve your problem solving and if you had any question comment below and if you had more questions, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. Bye.